I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte. You're with the company? Not exactly. That gonna be a problem? If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Tagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit, it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is Pops Holland is seriously fucked things to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Yeah, I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a, a brutal criminal who killed God knows how many people, a new breed of mobster, a prototype for criminals to come. Someone like that doesn't deserve the position history has afforded him. He should be forgotten, erased. But I also understand that Lincoln had a significant impact on the Italian mob in this city. He did what the Bureau wouldn't or couldn't do, he finished them. <laughs> 